This tutorial describes the minimum configuration of the SCON server controller sensorless module. The setup is for a brushless DC motor without hall sensors. The startup wizard, a tool from the SCON Studio, allows to configure the server controller with just a few steps. Connect the SCON server controller to your computer by means of the USB cable. Open the SCON Studio. The startup wizard opens automatically unless this option is deactivated. Apart from that, there are three different possibilities to start the startup wizard. Select one. Read the safety instructions and confirm by selecting the checkbox. Press Next. The connected SCON server controller is detected automatically. A description and a photo of the device are shown. Press Next. Enter the motor characteristics. Consult the Maxon catalog for the motor data. Press Help or F1 for detailed parameter description. Press Next. Enter the system data. The maximum system properties are limited either by the drive components or the application. The maximum speed should not be set too low to avoid problems during subsequent tuning. Press Next. Since we are dealing with sensorless commutation, there's nothing to be set here. Just press Next. Mode of operation. In our example, select Speed Controller Closed Loop. And again, Next. Enable functionality. There are different possibilities available. In our case, we assign Digital Input 2 to the functionality and specify the polarity as High Active. Press Next. Define the type of set value. There are different possibilities available. In our case, assign analog input 1 to the functionality and specify a reasonable speed range. Press Next. Setting a fixed current limit. There are other options available as well. Specify the desired maximum value. Press Next. Speed ramp functionality. Again, there are different possibilities available. Specify the desired maximum values for acceleration and deceleration independently. Press Next. Accurate commutation and speed control on sensorless motors are difficult to achieve at low speeds. A minimal speed can be predefined in order to avoid jerking movements of the motor. For a successful tuning, it is important to set the minimum speed in the range of supply voltage times speed constant of the motor divided by 7. Enter the calculated value. Press Next. There are different possibilities available to set an offset functionality if required. Press Next. Free available digital inputs and outputs can be configured with additional functionalities. Press Next. There are additional functionalities available for the free analog inputs and built-in potentiometers. Again, press Next. The free analog outputs can be configured as well. In our example, a fixed voltage is needed to supply the external potentiometer. Press Next. Set 4 volt as a fixed value for supplying the external potentiometer. Again, Next. The configuration summary appears. Press the button Show Wiring Overview. On the wiring overview, you find the wiring information based on the configuration you have performed in the SCON Studio. Print or save this overview. The document will be helpful for the following wiring. For demonstration of the wiring, the sensorless module is mounted on the corresponding Maxon motherboard. Wiring of the set value by external potentiometer. Unplug connector J6 Analog I.O and connect the external potentiometer according to the wiring overview. Use a potentiometer with 4.7 to 10 kilo ohm. Plug in the connector J6 analog I.O. Wiring of enable with external switch. Unplug connector J5 digital I.O. and connect the external switch according to the wiring overview. Any commercial switch can be used. Plug in the connector J5 digital I.O. Then unplug connector J2 motor 
and connect the motor windings according to the wiring overview. Plug in the connector J2 motor. Make sure that the power source cannot be engaged while work is in progress. Unplug connector J1 power and connect the power supply according to the wiring overview. Replug the connector J1 power. The complete system is wired and configured and is ready for the controller tuning. Tuning is described in a separate video tutorial.